The U.S. Air Force intends to spend about $30 billion over the next five years fielding a replacement for the F-22 Raptor and a fleet of AI-enabled drone wingmen to fly alongside it. Now, this effort, known as the Next Generation Air Dominance Program, has been underway in one form or another since around 2014, when Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall commissioned a secret study known as the Dominance Initiative. Now, DARPA came back about a year later with conclusions from that study, highlighting how not only could the U.S. field a new fighter that was significantly more capable than even the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II, but in doing so, modern technology would allow them to field this new fighter as a family of systems rather than as a single platform. Now, what that means is that this new aircraft is designed to fly at the center of a constellation of AI-enabled drones, effectively making every single crewed fighter into an entire formation unto itself. Now, that Dominance Initiative report we now know led directly into a classified billion-dollar X-plane program that by 2020 had produced at least one flying technology demonstrator that had already broken some sort of record, though what record it broke, we still don't know. I suspect it might have something to do with altitude. Since then, it's been reported that there may be as many as three flying technology demonstrators related to this program, though today there are only two firms competing for the contract. Last year, Northrop Grumman bowed out of the effort, leaving it a race between Lockheed Martin and Boeing, who is currently suffering their fair share of political turmoil, arguably making this Lockheed Martin's race to lose. Now, this new fighter is expected to deliver a similar leap in capability over today's most advanced fifth-generation fighters, the same way the F-22 Raptor did back in the 1990s over fourth-gen jets like the F-15 and F-16. Though what exactly makes it so capable has not exactly been disclosed, aside from those AI-enabled drone wingmen. Now, what this ultimately means is that this new generation of stealth fighters would be significantly more difficult to detect and track than even today's stealth fighters, leaning further into the stealth bomber approach to minimizing radar detectability. Now, the Air Force intends to award a contract for this new NGAD fighter this year, with the ultimate intent of getting the first jets into service by the close of this decade. And just a few weeks ago, the Air Force awarded Phase 1 contracts to General Atomics and Anduril to continue development and testing on their AI-enabled drone wingmen. Though the Air Force has been clear that they may award Phase 2 contracts to other firms to keep multiple efforts underway. Ultimately, the Air Force intends to purchase at least 1,000 of these AI-enabled wingmen, known collectively as Collaborative Combat Aircraft, or CCAs, with the goal of fielding at least two drone wingmen for each of 300 new Block 4 F-35s, and another two each for at least 200 new Next Generation Air Dominance, or NGAD, fighters. These drones will not only be able to engage targets on behalf of the crewed fighter, but they'll be able to extend sensor reach, conduct electronic warfare operations, and more. Now, the Air Force wants these drones in service by 2028, and again, the NGAD fighter in service by 2030. And there are similar follow-on efforts underway for the U.S. Navy and the U.S. Marine Corps, at least in terms of drones. The Navy is developing its own sixth-generation fighter called FAXX, born out of the very same next generation air dominance X-plane program, though the Navy's been clear that they will field their own fighter design that will likely share modular systems in common with the Air Force fighter. And the same can be said for the Navy's forthcoming CCA drones and the CCA drones in development for the U.S. Marine Corps. They will be different designs that will again share modular systems in common across the fleet. And what this ultimately means is that while the F-22 Raptor is amid a significant upgrade that will make it an absolute powerhouse for years to come, its reign as the king of the skies is very likely coming to a close. And we may just get a glimpse at the heir to the throne any day now when contracts are awarded.